probably. <sighs> Hi guys, welcome back to another video by Lizzie Lovett. Yes, hello, it's me again. If you haven't already established by this title of this video, it is indeed a video on working a ski season, working a winter season, whatever you'd like to call it. But this is like, sorry, I'm really out of breath, I'm so excited. I'm just so excited about this video. I hope you guys are too. And you've obviously clicked on this video because you want information on how to apply for a ski season and what kind of it involves and what happens in the process. I love doing these sort of videos. They're like my favorite type of videos to do because I want to share my knowledge and my understanding and my advice to you guys. You might not like it, you might like it, whatever it is, I'm so glad you clicked on this video. Thank you so, so much. And you probably, and if you haven't, anyway, if you haven't seen the, my last video, I did about six months ago a ski season video, my first ever one, and it was like my top tips about working a ski season, a winter season, and kind of going over a little like, just a few things. Like I'm gonna tell you about my experience and what to expect when going on a ski season. I went over, I tipped on a few things, but nothing specific. I thought I would do like a, a three episode sort of ski season slash winter season um, little videos on like what I think is appropriate and what I think helps with knowing like what it's about kind of thing and what you guys are probably asking the questions for. So this one is indeed the application process and what happens kind of video. The next one I might do like what kind of ski gear to take and then one after that is like what kind of social sort of casual wear to take. I'm gonna split it into sections because I've got so much to go over, so much information for you guys. So please don't stop watching it yet because this video will cover everything you need to know. I'm gonna put a link down below for where you can apply for Family Ski, my recommended ski season that I did. So I worked for Family Ski, I briefly went over them and what the company was like in my previous video. So go check that video out if you haven't seen that video yet. That kind of gives you an overview and then you can get onto this video for application stuff. But yeah, go to my last video, I talked a bit more about Family Ski, but they're the company I worked for. And if you want to apply for that company, then I'll put the link down below. I know currently they aren't letting people apply yet. They're not having any app applicants and stuff like that yet but that's only because of covid so things can change daily so just keep a watchful eye out and just keep looking out for application stuff you know but there are so many companies you can go for i'll put a few suggestions down below maybe a few links for other ones but yeah just let's go straight to this i don't want to go on too much off track i want to keep it straight to the point and hopefully you guys enjoy this <laughs> but if you do enjoy my videos and if you like watching me and you enjoy everything about I've got to give to you guys and please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, share, put that little notifications bell on. It really does help me and it's free to do it. So let's continue and get on with this and have fun with it, okay? So I've got a few little things I wanna touch upon. So if I'm looking over here, it's because I've got a little piece of paper with like information I wanna to touch upon. Okay, so the first little Thing I'm going to touch upon. I didn't want really what to call it, but let's just go with thing, touch upon, whatever, you know, floats your boat. But yeah, first of all, before you apply for a ski season job, like, I don't know if you want to call it ski season or winter season. I'm going to call it a ski season job and hopefully that's, that will do, you know. If you are applying for a ski season job, you want to think about what job you want to do, what job that there, what jobs there are, what kind of interests you, what you would be good at doing, what experience you've maybe had and what kind of, yeah, there is. So here I've just listed a couple of examples of the type of job roles that you can apply for when looking to work a ski slash winter season. Again, if you go on the internet, there are so, so many jobs that you can apply for. And this is just a couple of examples. There are so many other jobs that you can apply for. And each and every one of these job roles require different experience, different qualifications and different sort of skill sets. So again, please do your research because each of them are so different and some of them don't even want any experience and others don't want any qualifications. So it just depends on your job role and what kind of skills that you have already that will suit you. But honestly, there'll be something that suits everyone and there'll be something for everyone to try and to apply for. Just do your research and there's so much out there. So I just want to clarify, you do not need qualification for the job role that I did working in the kids camp. Let's go to the next one. Okay, the next one I'm going to touch upon is, um, so I've gone through what jobs there are and how, okay, how long does it take for your application to 
like process it does take a couple of months I'm not gonna lie but usually the companies will get back to you very very fast if you apply and usually the application kind of time is I'm trying to think now middle of summer end of summer that kind of sort of time where you can start applying but keep your eyes peeled all the time like there will always be an opportunity for like late comers early comers mid comers like if you're looking to a ski season and you're applying late there's usually people that like companies that need people to come out late um i know usually you start around november december time but sometimes people like leave the resort or don't like the job or they get kicked off the resort for some reason some situation and they need a last minute person to employ so there is always that opportunity early december i started my job role in the resort so literally it's such a changeover like it just flies you apply you go for your interview if you get an interview you get the job you have the pre-meetup then you go then you're there you know what i mean how can you apply for a ski season i know it sounds so daunting so like you just don't know where to go you don't know where to find the job you don't know where to apply honestly i had no idea like none of my family had done a ski season before i was the only one i knew nobody that had done one like it was literally just all like a bit of a uh, where do i go what do i do how do i find this information i just want to apply and to be really simple well it can be once you know what job role you want to do or like you have a few that you're kind of like keen on go to the site so you've got esprit is it esprit i don't know how to pronounce all of them you've got vip ski you've got family ski you've got so many there's a ski se there is it a season or something there are so many like places and jobs you just google it just say right i want to do a ski season ski season companies put it in google you'll find it and like a ton of things will come up click on their site and usually you can either go on their like little banner but like the little scroll bar and it will come up with like contact or apply for a job or careers or even at the bottom of the page you can usually find where you can apply for a job and usually it will tell you like a date if they haven't come out with like when they want you to apply it'll usually give you a date or a year when they want you to apply for these jobs so keep a lookout for those kind of things all right i will put some links down below for some sites some companies that i would say that i've heard of that are very big that you know i don't know about every company if they're any good or not but the ones i've heard of and the biggest ones i will put down below and also my own one that i worked for so yeah don't feel like it's a really scary process and you don't know where to find things because you know the search engine online now it is so big there is so much you can find out on the internet so if you've got internet then there you go search, search, search. once you've applied like i said it is literally like you apply then they get in contact with you when they want you to interview and i had to go to malvern I don't know where that is again, but I had to go to Malvern. I'm from Bournemouth, so it was a really long way away. I applied and got the job when I was 19. So I was 19 years old and I wanted to travel the world. I wanted to do so many different things. So I applied and it was hours and hours away. I didn't drive, I didn't have a car. Like I live with my parents at the time and I still do, but I drive now, but I didn't drive at the time. So I got a train. It did cost me like 60 pounds. So any of your travel to get to your interview, you will have to pay for. I ended up dragging my parents along once I'd got the job, but the first time I had to get the train to Reading and then I had to change at Reading and get off at Malvern or something. There's a few changeovers in between, but I went there, had my interview. The interview was like an like an hour long not even that it was like really quick and they literally just wanted to know about me so if you're applying say for family ski like i did i applied i think i only applied for there and one other place family ski got in touch with me very quickly this is back when i was 19 so that was nearly five years ago five years ago or something and yeah i had to pay 60 pounds to get on the train go up there and I got the job guys that was the best feeling ever but basically I will go through that with you let's I just get a bit off track I want to keep it very precise and to the point for you guys to understand and to like not feel bored with this video so, yes I had to pay 60 pound of my own money to travel to go for an interview I hadn't even I didn't even know if I had the job or not but it was so worth it because the experience, I literally traveled out there and went travel straight back home after my interview. So they literally all they wanted to know at the interview was that you've had some experience, what that experience was, did you enjoy it? What would you bring to the team? Like the typical questions in most job interviews that they ask. They wanted to know 
like why I wanted to work for the company is it something I've always considered doing you know what skills do I have what could I provide to the team and just general chit chat it was nothing scary trust me like if you just be yourself do not lie just you know be completely honest they will love you honestly like my interview was so good I had all this like paperwork brought with me like I had DBS checks I had I had literally my whole life in this massive folder that I traveled with they didn't need any of it they didn't look at any of it like nothing I think they said it was up to two weeks I would hear back about the interview and if I'd got the job I think no it can't have been that long maybe even a week or something or a few days but they were quite quick like with getting back to me I was every day I was working this job as a waitress and I wasn't in the best state. I was just like, I just want to know that I'm working a ski season, something I've always wanted to do. I held back. They were like, congratulations. We would love to have you on the team. Like, these are the start states. This is what we need you to get together. And also there was a pre-meetup date. So let's talk about when I got the job and what happened after I'd got given the job. So they sent me an email. They gave me all the information of everything that I needed to provide them and to have for my ski season. So to start with, you will need a DBS check. I think with even all the job roles nowadays, I think you need a DBS check. It's a criminal background check just to make sure that there's nothing that you haven't told them or there's nothing dodge about you, you know what I mean? Um, and if, especially if you're working with kids, you gotta make sure that you're not some like weirdo. <laughs> you know what I mean? And yeah, so you have one of those. They will give you a list of everything that you need, the essentials to bring for a ski season and everything they want you to bring for the pre-meetup. Okay, so the pre-meetup, let me tell you, let's go to, the, let's talk about the pre-meetup because I think most ski seasons have this. Like when you've got the job, you kind of need to meet everyone. You need a bit of like a briefing about it. And I don't know if it's just family ski, but I had the pre up. I was so excited. Like I had to go back up to Malvern. So I went up there and I met all the people that were going to be on my ski season with me, with the company that I went with. Honestly, best experience. Like it was like, it was just the excitement of you knowing you're, you met the people you're going to be going with and spending time with. There's so many of you there. You're so excited. You're like in, in like a month, two months time, you knew you were going to be going and it was just the most exciting feeling ever. I met my best friend there on that pre meetup day and we just instantly clicked. I met so many other people, it was lovely. And they give you like a little briefing of like what a day looks like. They tell you like everything you need to know and give you a list, like I said, of everything you need to take with you. I know so many of you, once you've got the job, you're like, what am I going to take? What do I need? What are they going to provide us? Do we have to take our own equipment? I will get into all that in more detail in other videos. So don't you worry. I'm going to bring it all to you guys so you can know and you feel comfortable and you feel like secure with everything and all the information that you need to know. Okay. So yes, pre-meetup was great. You kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of. I don't know what happened there, but you get like a like little briefing and a, the gist of like what you're going to be doing on a ski season. It makes you feel so much at ease and you feel like, okay, it's not so daunting and so scary, but it's even more exciting than it was before. I think that's basically everything I needed to cover. I'm just going to check on my phone if there's any other like questions that you guys had that needed to be answered. But like comment below if there's a specific video you guys want me to bring to you like i'm going to bring you a video of all the equipment all the things that you need to take to a ski ski what is wrong with me <laughs> i'm going to do some videos on the most important equipment to take with you on a ski season like what you're going to need to wear on the mountains and things like that and when you're skiing snowboarding whatever it is even just like you're out on the snow what kind of is the best stuff to take the most practical and not the things that are unnecessary you know what i mean and also another video on like what kind of things to take if you're socializing if you're out there having a party having you know drinks with your friends it's happy hours or you're out for lunch on your day off like what kind of things you need to take and what things you want in your like accommodation that you're staying in so if there's a lot of questions that you have about these kind of things don't worry I'm bringing that those videos to you very soon don't worry but for other like information like other videos like I don't know um I don't know what you guys want to specifically know about but if there's anything specific please let me know comment below I will bring you videos I will give you information I will comment reply like you know I'll give it all to you guys. I'm here for you and here to help. So let me look at my phone and see if there's any other questions you guys had 
since my last ski season video. If you're applying for a ski season, you do, like I said in my last video, I think I briefly touched upon, you do not need to know how to ski or snowboard. You could be the worst skier or snowboarder. You may be even the person that's never done it in your entire life, but you can still do a ski season. That's not gonna stop you from doing one. It's not gonna be like, it's not gonna put them off employing you, if you know what I mean, unless you were going for a job where you wanted to teach skiing or snowboarding, probably wouldn't get that job. But, and you wouldn't want that if you didn't know how to, you know what I mean? But if you're going for a job like mine, childcare job, you do not need to know how to ski or snowboard. You can learn that when you're out there. It's so easy, like, to just learn it when you're out there. You've got plenty of time off, you know, go out there, learn these things. You do not need to know how to do them to do a ski season. Please don't let that stop you. Okay, so I have actually just got a question. I did answer this, I think, um, on this question. But if you're watching this and you have this question also, then it says, what age is like the best to kind of do a ski season? Is 18 years old like okay to do a ski season? Yes, 18 is a great age because you're still kind of young that you know like you want to travel, you want to have a good time, you kind of didn't, you're not like in a place where you have to stay where you put, like you have to do a full-time job. Like 18 is a great idea like to do, what am I saying? <laughs> 18 is a great age to do a ski season because you have so much time to do these things like you know what go when you're 18 go when you're 30 like there isn't really an age restriction for these things but earlier the like the sooner the better if you want to do it do it but if you are under 18 I don't know if they're going to employ you I'm not sure the rules of like how young you can be but I think I think 16 17 is a bit too young I think you should be about 18 to do it I could be wrong if you find somewhere that takes you when you're younger great you know what I mean but if not wait till you're 18 and start whenever how long is a ski season there we go guys I did literally just say I think a little bit of this but you your ski season roughly will be about five whole months so I think it's either between November December start till April I think April sort of time so yeah good five months from about November to April okay so obviously COVID pandemic Stop, it's stopping everything at the moment everything is just kind of like grounded it's so annoying but hopefully when this pandemic covid sort of situation eases up and everything becomes more normal and things aren't so terrible terrible for people hopefully things will just be a bit more smoother you know what i mean it's just so annoying like it's just i feel for so many people that are out there suffering and who have lost people and hopefully covid will f go away it will bog off and we can live our lives and have a good time and you can do your ski seasons, okay guys? I think that's all my questions. So I think we've come to the end of this video. Sorry, I'm doing a lot of hand gestures. I'm just, it's just such an exciting thing. I just, when I talk about ski season, it makes me want to do another one again. And it makes me just relive my like, just everything that I loved about ski season. Like honestly, probably one of the best times in my entire life was doing a ski season. If you're thinking of doing one, just do one, like don't think about it. Obviously with COVID everything's stopping, but as soon as you can, just don't think, just do. Like you got, you only live once. If you wanna do it, do it. Like if you're in the time of your life where you can do it, then you should definitely do it. It's the best thing ever. As long as it's something you want to do and you've done a lot of research into it, then do it. Like honestly, it is amazing. And like I said before, if you have any more questions, any queries, any worries, anything that you wanna know, please comment below and I will do my best to answer your questions. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. It really does mean so much to me. I love making these videos and if you just subscribe, like comment, press that notifications button, then you're helping me even more to like pursue a career that I would love to continue doing. I'm very early on and I would really love your support. You guys are supporting me already, so thank you so much and I really appreciate it. I love you all so much and I will see you in another video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget, I'll be bringing out a part two and a part three and or episode two and three just you wait i've got it all coming for you all right guys thank you so much for watching bye